vehicle on shoulder ahead. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You're probably wondering, what the heck am I doing with the G60 530i sitting behind me? Well, it's a loaner car courtesy of Turnersville BMW. I had to take the M5 in to get some service done, needed an oil change, and it needed the spark plugs changed, which is uh, was a surprise to me. The BMW app let me know, and come to find out, one of, uh, one of you guys did comment and tell me that the coolant reservoir is now a recall, and that is true. When I got to the dealership, they did confirm that. Unfortunately, the part isn't available yet, so we'll have to take it back. But I was anxious to jump into the new 5 Series platform. This is my first time seeing one in person. And, um, you know, is this a prelude of what's to come in the next generation M5? So let me give you a quick walk around, let you know what my thoughts are on this car. So let me get this camera turned around, show you some of the things inside. There's some things that I like and there's some things that I don't like, but let's check this car out. Has this cool key, modern looking. You got the buttons on the side there. Looks nicer than my M5 key or even the M3 CS. So impressed with the key. Let's check this thing out. All right, as you guys know, modern BMWs, the grills just keep getting bigger and bigger. And it doesn't have like the traditional slats. It's like pretty much closed off. I imagine there's a electronic mechanism that'll open and close those to allow airflow depending on the temperature. Front end styling overall looks pretty aggressive. So I have high hopes for the M5. As we move around to the side of the car, this is where I kind of get disappointed. Um, we know the the M5 is going to have a much more aggressive front end. And keep in mind, this is a 530i. So for what it is, this car does look good overall. So I'm not going to say it, it looks bad or anything like that because I don't think it does. It has the M performance package. As you can tell, we got the M brake calipers there colored in blue. We got some all seasons on it. But one thing that concerns me for the next generation M5 is... The quarter panels, are these quarter panels going to carry over to the next generation M5? As you can see, she ain't got no hips. What's up with that? BMW, please, for the love of God, put some hips on the M5. We don't want it to be so similar to the other 5 Series out there where they're hardly uh, recognizable in some ways. Only like a true car guy or car girl would go, hey, that's an M5. But front end looks pretty good side profile i'm digging the side profile we got the five series logo right there again this car is a loaner vehicle courtesy of turnersville bmw of turnersville in the back i'm digging the back i can i can live with that not too bad but man she needs some hips on the m5 so I'm gonna stay hopeful until we see that in person. Now let's jump inside this bad boy. And you know what? It, it's got pretty plenty of pep in its step for what it is. The one thing I wasn't too fond of, there's like no real buttons. It's, I don't know if you could tell in the video, but this is like smooth. So when you press it, it's, it's kind of, uh, I, I don't know, it's hard to describe. I don't know if I like it. I like the, the feel of a button being pushed in and like clicking. Uh, traditional BMW switch gear. I really like this steering wheel. It's got the flat bottom steering wheel M logo right there. This car only has like 900 miles on it. Your gear selector does have like a sport mode, wireless charging. The interior you have the like quilted looking stitching. We have the piano black trim. This car does have the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Grills look nice. Let's move to the back. Look at the size of the, the speaker cover there. Again, we have Bowers and Wilkins. Not too bad. Now let's pop the hood. Let's see if I could find it. Oh, you know what? One thing I want to show you. This is how you adjust the vent. It's like the weirdest thing. It's like this little roller thing. And you don't... And the vent, you can see it moving in there. But... A little bit different it does have a modern look but again i don't know how i feel about how you adjust the vents open and close here and i don't know where the where the hood release is oh it's tucked up under here so we got the hood popped i'm pretty sure this car is going to have a four cylinder in it it is the 530i 
Okay, we need to double pull on that. Felt like one was enough, but I guess not. There we go. All right, there it is. So yeah, we got plenty of room to stuff the V8 twin turbo in there, but the new M5 is gonna have a hybrid setup. Again, that's one of the things I'm not sure uh, how that's gonna work out. You know, we got plenty of room now. As you know, BMW is good at stuffing the giant motor in a small space. Oh, let me shut the hood. But as a loaner car, and you know, as a daily driver, I mean, this car is pretty decent, gets good fuel economy. Um, didn't burn up too much gas driving from Jersey back to Delaware. But that's, um, you know, I figure while I have this car, while my M5 is getting serviced, I'll give you guys a quick overview. Still don't have that hood shut. Let's see. I'll have to, let me open that back up and shut it properly. Two times. BMW LED lighting. As you can see, that's like the new style daytime running lights. It looks pretty decent. One last look at that four cylinder. Hood shut that time. Let me shut this door. I'm going to do a quick walk around. Give you guys a glimpse of this. Now, as I said, don't get it wrong. This is an awesome lunar car. 530i does everything if you don't care about horsepower and you just want like a quiet daily driver that's decent on fuel i would take this over a tesla or any electric car that angle right there looks pretty good yeah the rear i like that so i have high hopes for the m5 let's see if they could put some hips on that girl let's continue walking around again i think a different color would be good. I mean, this gray is fine again for daily drive. You just blend in, put some tin on it. There you guys have it. The new G65 series. Awesome loaner car. Would I want one in my garage? Probably not. I mean, as a daily driver, maybe, but I need more horsepower. Now, this is a glimpse into the future. What's the M5 going to hold for us? Um, for now, I'm hanging on to my F90. I don't know if the new generation M5 is going to be worth the switch, but only time will tell. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys in the next one.